what's up guys it's crusader here um so what i'm gonna be doing uh daily now as much as i can is going through all the dark zone vendors and showing you guys what they're selling because the dark zone checkpoint vendors um they refresh daily and i'm gonna be showing you guys what has the best loot and what's a good pickup and um first off we're gonna check out the one right here in the bottom right on 31st Street between Madison and Park Avenue. So this one has a really good covert SRS. It has deadly critical hit damage is increased by 20% and accuracy is increased by 40%. That is a really nice uh, marksman rifle with the headshot. Headshot damage being increased by 133%. Let's check out this. This chest piece has damage to elite health armor increased kill XP. Uh, XP. XP increase kill XP does work in dark zone, so uh, be be aware of that. Shooter backpack. I don't know. This is covered SRS up, and then this vertical grip. Um, I'm not gonna check take too much to uh, the firearms, uh, the the what the gear mods because you could pretty much figure that out on your own what you like and what you need and what you don't like. One, this grip has initial burst to bullet stability and hip fire accuracy. So I'd say the covert SRS and the chest piece would be pretty nice to pick up if you need it. I'm gonna move on to the next uh, zone now. Right now here on Fifth Avenue, at this checkpoint, we have a police CAT1 that rolled with 19.50% crit chance and uh, pounds destructive and restored. Destructive is an, uh, is an awesome per perk or a talent, one of my favorite. This AUG right here is rolled with 19% critical hit chance with Unforgiving and Comp. A roll for me. And these responder pads have uh, health, critical hit chance, disrupt resistance, burn resistance, shock resistance, ballistic shield health. Sounds per tank build. Presser has 17.50% accuracy and reduced threat. That these 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 uh, knee pads are actually really good for a tank build, so I would suggest picking that up. And I guess these two weapons are not super important like the last vendor was, but if you if they are nice for you, go ahead and pick them up if it's what you prefer. Alright, right here on West 31st Street by 6th Avenue, we another vendor selling. Really nice LMG, the military M60E4 with sustained and stable. Sustained killing a target increases your health by 4%. 40%. That's a uh, pretty nice for a tank build. Tanks are. And this tactical MK16. But st stable and accurate. That's like a laser beam for an assault rifle guys want to pick that up that's pretty nice but they're not upgrades for me so uh i wouldn't pick it up but if you guys are looking for pretty nice rolls on these on either type of weapons lmg or ars these are pretty nice this is this gas mask has skill power increased kill xp electronics and seeker mine explosion radius it's all right and oh that's not bad An extended magazine with our extended magazine magazine size with reload speed it's actually not bad. Up if I were you guys. Now here on uh which street is this? West 34th Street by 6th Avenue. We're taking a look at this vendor right here. We have an AUG A3 Power X XS with 21.50% critical hit chance with Adept and Swift. And I don't think reload speed is all that important on a uh have it as a talent, not that important to have on a on a, um, on a submachine gun. So I, I'm not a fan of this personally, but if you like it, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, this uh, E-pads right here roll with critical hit damage, blind resistance, disrupt bleed resistance, cross cr critical hit damage. Hmm. Tank support build right there as well. Shooter holster has a uh, firearm stamina, and it's protection from elites, armor, ballistic shield damage. Also good for a tank. Huh. Initial bullet stability, hip fire accuracy on this vertical grip. Uh, 
accuracy and stability. So then I'd pick that up if you, if you are trying to build your any particular weapon in that way with total accuracy and stability. All right, on West 39th Street by Broadway, in this vendor we have a enhanced ACRE that rolled with intense and prepared. First bullet of the magazine has a 13% chance. Okay. The on fire status effect of the target, and then it has prepared damage is increased by 10 by 50% when more than 40 meters from the target. More than 40 meters from the target. Sounds more like something that would be good for a marksman rifle. If this combo was on a marksman rifle, I would say pick it up and it would be pretty awesome. But uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. Not for assault rifles. But the backpack has a. Uh, 46 backpack capacity, 413 stamina, skill, haste, burn, resistance, support station health, and post critical hit. Those skill attributes actually is a pretty good combo. So if this is by any chance an upgrade for you, I would pick it up and re-roll off that burn resistance into maybe something. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Or something like that. I don't know. Then we have the shooter holster that has, wow, firearms, stamina, and electronics. Not much, only three, only around like 400 each. Protection from elites and sticky bomb damage. And then the suppressor has critical hit damage and reduced. Right here on uh, 42nd Street and Broadway, ooh, Times Square, we have at this vendor a tactical M1911 with expert and commanding. I never use sidearms, honestly. I don't really care for them. But uh, this one has the weapon deals 100% more damage when the target is below 30% health. I mean, if you're out of ammo on both your primary and secondary, you can switch to your sidearm and you know get that, get those last few shots. And it has commanding every kill performed while the signature skill is active extends its duration by 15%. I don't see you getting many kills with the <laughs> with the sidearm, so I don't know how to feel about this one. It's eh. And this one, uh, this LMG, the military MK46, has skills. Headshot kills with this weapon increase signature skill resource by 8.50%. Accurate and accurate actually is increased by 40%. Not bad. Um, I would get this one only if you're trying to uh, stack stability on this. It rolled with 5,475 damage. Mm. My 2,457 firearms, that's pretty low, but if it is an upgrade for you, I would pick it up. Only if you're stacking stability. This one has two mod slots, not bad. Okay, this one has increased kill XP and smart cover duration and plus one mod slot. I guess there's a mod slot on it by the... That mod slot just adds in... ACOG scope has optimal range and headshot damage and this... Insight has headshot damage and accuracy. All right now we have right here on 46th Street, 7th Avenue. Uh, we have a better uh, sidearm, the M45A1, with expert and predatory. This is a better combo because you know you're probably only going to be killing like maybe one or two enemies um, with your sidearm with this perk. So expert, once again, 100% more damage when the target is below 30%. Then, predatory killing a target regenerates 10.50% health over five seconds. That's a that's a that's a better combo than the uh, the last sidearm we looked at. Then we have a classic RPK 74 with commanding. Every kill performed oh, while the signature skill is active extends duration by 15%. And sustain killing a target increases your health by 4%. I guess this is a uh, a good. Oh, if you are, you know, a, a DPS class that likes to use LMGs, I guess, and you, you, you rely on your skills for your damage, so, like the, uh, the crit pulse, or you have a teammate that, oh, is always, um, using skills. Actually, that doesn't proc on teammate skills, so never mind. So, moving on, responder gloves. Marksman rifle damage, health on kill, pistol damage. I, I wouldn't pick this up, honestly. I wouldn't even bother with these. Optimal range and accuracy on this holographic sight. And quick release magazine has reload speed and magazine size. Not bad. Definitely consider picking that up if you really need it. Right now on 3rd Street and Broadway, we have 
once again, another sidearm, M45A1, that <laughs> once again rolls with expert, damage deals 100%, more blah 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 blah. And this one rolled with meticulous. I don't know how I feel about this one. Killing target has a 17.50% chance, chance to instantly fill the magazine, so I guess that's actually pretty good if you're like in a really desperate critical situation where you actually have to use your sidearm. I guess that's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's just it's all on preference, really. And then rapid assault mask, so exotic damage resilience, increased kill XP and smart cover duration with firearms. I would reroll that exo exotic damage off into something, something that fits your character style if you uh, need it. This one has health, exotic damage resilience, increased kill XP, XP turret health, and one mod slot. And this vertical grip has initial hip fire accuracy, initial burst ability. Uh... I guess that's all on playstyle if you really need it. Here on 53rd Street and 5th Avenue, we have a... No, don't get We have a M M870 Express. And capable and ferocious. Only have five rounds. Eh, I wouldn't pick this up. Um, This one, this backpack has stamina, skill haste, disrupt resistance. Mobile cover damage and turret health. Uh, uh, guess that's all on the uh, all on preference, really. Exotic damage, resilience, damage to elites, blind death, enemy armor damage, burn resistance, pulse crit hit damage. Those are pretty nice. Small grip. Uh, what do we have? Accuracy and hip fire accuracy, and uh, critical hit chance and rate of fire. So. Right here on 46th Street and 5th Avenue. Come to find out that sidearms always roll with experts. Experts, so silly me. This one has brutal. Headshot damage is increased by 19.5% when using this weapon. So uh, that's not bad. A uh, six round magnum? It's not bad. I would. Assault mask with firearms, critical hit chance, saurian resistance, and first aid ally heal. Shooter pack with electronics, signature ability, resource gain, ammo capacity, smart cover damage, and turret. Uh, if you guys don't know, signature ability resource is pretty much uh, how much uh, your cool uh, your cooldown on your on your signature skill. And uh, this suppressor has initial burst stability and reduced threat. Here on 42nd Street and by Park. Or not park, but right here on tree. You guys know where this is. <laughs> we have another sidearm, of course, expert and dump. All your signature skills active. Other skills. This chest armor is actually pretty nice. Protection from elites, armor, health, and increase, increase kill XP, and the first aid self heal. This holster has fire and electronics health and one mod slot. It has horizontal stability and critical hit damage. That's actually pretty nice. I would pick that up if I were you guys. Right here in 40th Street and Park Avenue checkpoint, we have the SOCOM SCAR L. This is the assault rifle SCAR. Brutal headshot damage is increased by 19.5%. And commanding, every kill performed with the signature skill is active. Extended duration by 15%. That's a good one for a, uh, you know, or if you're using using skills to increase your damage, such as crits and crit chance. This one, uh, this pistol, the sidearm has intense first blow of the magazine. Eh, I don't like that. I, don't I wouldn't like that on a sidearm. First of the magazine has a 30% chance to apply on the on fire status effect. Nah. This, these gloves has firearms, damage to a lead, shotgun damage. Ooh! That's actually pretty good. Oh my god, I think that's a must-have if that if you guys do not have this, especially if it's an upgrade for you. That is definitely a must-have. Um, this quick release magazine has reload speed, rate of fire, and this angled grip has stability and initial bullet stability. I actually might pick that up myself. So for the last checkpoint, we have 34th Street on Park Avenue. We have a really nice shotgun, 63.4k damage, 5 rounds, with fierce and destructive, that is a really nice combo. Critical hit chance is increased by 5.5% when using this weapon. 
destructive armor destruction value is increased by 15% when using this weapon. That is a really nice combo. And if you guys are a fan of shotguns, I would pick it up. You have a shooter vest. Stamina, armor, health on kill, ammo capacity, sticky bomb damage, one mod slot. Rapid assault pack with electronics, backpack capacity is 48. Signature ability resource game. Oops. Ammo capacity, smart cover, damage increase. Wow, that's, uh, hmm. Not bad, actually. Add for, like, a uh, support build that, you know, people will rely on uh, their skills for damage. And then we have a heavy max spring, critical hit damage, rate of fire, and optimal range and critical hit chance. And that'll wrap it up for these vendor videos. Vendor checkups. And uh, it turns out they're not actually, uh, they're not daily anymore. They're actually weekly, so I guess you could expect these kind of videos once a week. And, um, I hope you guys found something useful that'll help your character build. And uh, my name is Crusader, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.